Welcome back to Table Talk, where we answer your questions for a few seconds before we get distracted and go off on a weird tangent. I'm your pal, Jeremy. I'm here with my friends, Bree and Maude. Hi! As always, before we begin, let me just mention that if you have questions that you'd like to have us answer, feel free to send them to us in the comments below or on Reddit yep. slash r slash sourcefed and use that hashtag Table Talk, please. Hey! Nailed it. You Jeremy. crushed that oh, shit. Thank you. Wow, hey, that was really, it's like, it's like. Long time watcher. Oh. <laughs> well, you have to. Yeah. I've done that before. First time, a uh, long time listener, first time caller. Mm -hmm. I've done that. And I could barely You're say it. You're the worst person Did you really? in the world. <laughs> that takes up all of your call time. Like, that's uh -huh. why. Not the way I said it. When I was a physical, I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and they always have to go, thank you, yay. Yeah. It's, oh it's just God. like, waste. <laughs> Well, on that note, let's get right into let's it. Let's get right into love it. Love to. Yeah. No, I would love to wasting. eventually be a love song dedication um, radio host. Welcome to love song dedication. They always sound like they're about to come. <laughs> what do you mean? Like Delilah what? is always like, hey guys, welcome <laughs> to 60s at 6 p.m. I'm going to sing you to come time. <laughs> you know? That's my favorite song, sing you to come time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sing you. <laughs> You can hear like the saliva in her mouth. <laughs> She's like so, panting. She's like, <sighs> so you guys listen to a lot of radio, I see. I mean, yeah. back in my day, I loved <laughs> the old love song. And my favorite with the college was like, hi, it's <laughs> Heidi. I really am just, <laughs> want to wish my one true boo <laughs> a happy one year anniversary. And then there's a song and they're like, why, why did you choose this song? Well, uh, it's um, <laughs> like the whole thing just goes on forever. And then it's the guys that are like obviously forced by their missus to, to send in a dedication. She's standing right behind them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like loud, come on, say it, say it. Oh, I love it very much. Um, <laughs> happy as I've ever been. <laughs> Meanwhile, Delilah's like, are you single? I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you right now. <laughs> Maybe that's how it works. It was a love song dedication. We got to have Delilah on the show. Love oh song God, fornication. Miss her. Please. What's your question? Oh. Yeah, that was what we were here for. Can you read it in the voice, though? Can you read it in the voice, please? Yeah, Which Delilah. voice? Delilah. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's a really deep, deep voice. voice. Right. If you could create your own planet, what would it be like? Would it be mostly liquid, gas, solid? What would its inhabitants be like? What would you name it? Etc. and so on and so forth. I didn't know you could get so low. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. I couldn't even understand anything you said. Um, if you could create your entire planet, what planet would it be? Would it be mainly liquid, gaseous? Why would you want to have a planet that's all gas? Well, you couldn't live there. You could fart there. Yeah. You could fart here. This is a perfectly fine planet. I, I would make a planet that is mostly like this one so that I could survive on it, Jeremy, first of all. I never farted in your office that time. <gasps> Is this what? a time for a confession? No, yeah, what? I thought, Jeremy, I'm... Was it a faked fart? Did you do it for the Twitter followers? No, I just, JD had the camera in my face and I was like, I just need a moment here. And he's like, well, I've got to capture it for Snapchat. And I was just like, hee, hee. And I remember you I came, didn't, I didn't fart. fart in his office. I couldn't do it. Well, oh that's that makes I one person a, in here. I still have a clean record of no farting in Jeremy's office. Oh, shit. How many times have you farted in my office? A few. A few. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when we're on those long conference calls, like I'm sitting there, yeah. if I ever, ever like move away it towards happens. the door, it's because I, I'm farting. So if you guys had planets, <laughs> yours would be a fart planet. And no, 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 would no, not. here's the thing. I would be, it would be just like you. I would make like a clone of Earth, but mm -hmm. with no people on it, so I could just chill there. Huh. But, but according to this, it could have any kind of inhabitants. All so, dogs. All dogs. Yeah, it would just be like all dogs. Would they be me. ravenous? Is it the though? heaven that all dogs go to? Yes. Okay. Oh, so I'm dead. It's like dog heaven. No, you're alive. Oh, I'm alive, but yeah. the dogs are dead. <laughs> it's completely populated. It's a fart planet that's kind of like Earth, but it's populated by mostly dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that stinks. I that can smell awesome. it already. Ew, I love uh, it. Mine, I love it so much. Mine, mine's like Willy Wonka. Mine's like yeah. a like a confectionery planet where you get to swim in the chocolate milk and you get to eat the schnozberries. That would be cool. Like a giant Willy Wonka? Yeah. Yeah, but Willy Wonka, so there's a dark side to that. Mm -hmm. Everything everything <laughs> in his chocolate factory is homicidal and wants to hurt you or kill you. No. I think it's just like stupid people go in there a Everybody's lot. stupid though. I'm, I yeah. Can, I can be stupid. Yeah, Even I Grandpa can. Joe was stupid. Yeah. 
He really fucked that up for Charlie. Charlie he really had did. it. It was yeah, he, Joe's fault. He was this close. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler if you haven't seen it. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> 1976 yeah. or something? Doesn't, that doesn't go well for anyone. Anyway, I want all dogs there, but I do want some people. But the people that are going to be there, they all want to have respectful, consensual sex with me. Everyone. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> is that really a good thing? Like, don't you think that would be, it could be creepy. Are they only sexy people? Yeah. Oh, yeah, hot, pe- people, hot people I'm, planet. People hot I'm people attracted planet. to. Yeah, oh, well, it doesn't have to be hot people. It has to be people I'm attracted to. The thing it about could be anything. hot people. If everybody's hot, you won't know what hot is. They don't all have to be hot. A lot of them will be very musically talented, uh, okay. smart. Hot don't, some, some hot people that I have encountered don't need to try as hard in other areas. Therefore, they so, don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> they, don't need, try, they don't try at all. They don't need to be funny. They don't need to know things because their looks are really aiding them in some particular ways. So if you have all hot people, I just feel like the conversation could be a little stagnant. My friend Chelsea brought up a really great point the other not? day. We were talking. She's beautiful. But she brought Imagine up the fact beautiful. that we put so much emphasis as a society on beauty that we don't hold other things to such a esteem. high sta- esteem yeah. that everybody, all they ever want is to be beautiful. And so we've gotten to a place where we kind of feel the need to call everyone and everything beautiful so people don't feel bad about themselves. I know themselves. more people that work out than I know people who read bits. That's what I'm saying. It's like if we put an emphasis on like being smart. I love books. Uh-huh. Like not everyone has to be beautiful. Okay, Some so, people can be unattractive. So your planet you know is funny? filled with people that are beautiful on the outside and on the inside. Just yeah. people I'm attracted to. Focus on here and it comes out here. It's weird. Yeah. Mine is like Earth except for all of the water is beer instead. Oh. <laughs> and um, uh, all of the people are Muppets, including me. How tight would that be? We'd all be Muppets. But you can't yeah, drink the beer then. Exactly. Huh? No, you can't drink the beer. Yeah. That's a, I, hadn't thought, I hadn't thought this through. That's you a really good I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. No, you <laughs> it forever. I'm just sitting there, like, constantly trying to sip, and it just pulls out. Like, that would be like a hell, right? <laughs> like, I basically just created a Hellraiser plan. It's like Atlas with the world myself. up What the if hill? you're not a Muppet? Okay, I'm a human person, and everyone else is a Muppet, but that would also suck, because then I would have to constantly explain to them how to drink beer. My wife would be a real person. <laughs> okay, good. Because it'd be weird if you had sex with a Muppet. It, yeah. I think. Yeah. Some people wouldn't think that. I mean, that. yeah, some people are okay with it. But they'd always be like, what What does beer taste like? You know? You would have to describe everything now. Yeah, well, they really don't know. It reminds me of this sketch that I saw on the weekend where it was like this boy's birthday wish was for his toys to come to life. And the two toys are like, what is, what is, what am I? What am I? What is this? What is this? What am I doing? I don't know. What am I doing? What is this? Whoa, really What am I doing? <laughs> and it was like the most annoying thing ever because they were just not functioning. And I feel like that is literally your planet. And I had to make a point by hitting myself on the head. And I tried to do it softly, but because I did it so many times, it hurts. Aww. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I can be stupid. <laughs> Man, Aww. kids are, that's the, the worst is all those questions. How do Speaking you deal with questions, all the questions? Let's pick another one. Jeremy, listen. That was a good segue. I know you're trying to be all efficient, but like, yeah. we have to conquer all the world's problems. This one comes from The Odd Life of Me. Before you learned how babies were made, what did you think happened? I thought that every girl was always pregnant and didn't start growing the baby until they were married. I mean, that's, what? that's so kind of really question bad. Is that? Wow. It's a real, actually, actually a great question. I heard about the stork. We all heard about the stork yeah. that delivers the babies. I think I got that from Dumbo when I watched Dumbo and mm-hmm. they delivered the baby. The stork did. Yeah. Like, that's what always happened in cartoons. Yeah. 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 And then I was seven years old and I was in primary school and Peter came up to me and goes, yeah, babies are made, you put your dick in the vagina. And I was like, what? What are those things? Oh my God. I thought, I, I thought you just went to the hospital and they like handed them out. <laughs> like you just like, hey, I feel like getting a baby. I guess I'll go to the hospital and I'll just like, pick one. This one looks like it's for Yeah, oh, here you go. Do. There you are. Hmm. And then you just walk out with one. I had the sex talk very early when I was nine. Yeah. So is that early? Seven. I feel like well when I well when I was I my mom told me where babies came from, but she didn't tell me how they were made. Like she was like, "Your si- you and your sister came out of my belly because my mom had C section both times. Mm-hmm. So she's like, they caught me open and they pulled you out. So I knew babies came from like your stomach. They right. grow inside of you and you pull them out right. of your stomach. I didn't know the vagina and penis were involved till I was like oh, nine. I always knew it pushed out through the hoo ha. <laughs> Just, um, what, I think it was one of those, it was, like a, it was like a pregnant Barbie. If there was, was like a cooler way that you could birth. do it, what do you think would be like the most efficient way? Like the if best way? If you sneeze way? seven times, <laughs> seven there's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. So allergies just 
Wait, it comes out if you sneeze seven times? Or you go, or it, or okay. Yeah. I think like The Sims. It's like, do you want to have a baby, yes or no? And then it's just in your crib. You just click like Y or N? Yeah. yeah. And then it's there. So every time you're like having the fun times, you're like, N. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Every time, yeah. And then eventually, if only it was that like, easy. Yes. If I didn't have to take birth control, then yeah, I would. I don't mind if that message pops up every time. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, it'd be easy. Like, it's fine. Somebody needs to invent that. Yeah. 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 Hey, you want a baby? Virtual reality birth control. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. if I didn't have to have my period, I would gladly take a notification for literally anything. Like, hey, do you feel like getting your period this week? No. 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 Yeah. Do you feel like talking to this guy? Why can't no. everything in life be like that? Right? You know what, there will be an app for it soon. We're in the technological revolution. I mean, you, had you guys watch Black Mirror? Oh yeah. You know those contact lenses that mm -hmm. can record and play back? They already have those now. They're Do in they? development where you can record video in your contact lenses and it's so scary. No way. Yeah. Where that's does the data go? Yeah. Into the Sorry, that's my investment contact? face. I'm so into this. No, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't read it because I was too, I was just like, no. It goes I don't into the believe cloud, it. is what they say. Get out. Get out. I saw another one where there's like, I mean, it's not as technologically advanced, but it's just like one of those Fitbits, but it projects the phone down onto your wrist and you can just use your wrist <laughs> as oh, a yeah. phone. We covered that on SourceFed today. Get out! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Just this morning. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, no, it's too scary. This week earlier, if you're watching this, earlier this week, go back and watch it. We also covered uh, uh, a few months ago, you can attach a flashlight to your iPad and then you don't even need to like do any of the stuff in real life. So you fuck your iPad yeah. while watching porn? Yeah. I mean, where? You add virtual reality to that and then but nobody you, needs to worry like, about getting pregnant because they can make those for ladies too. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. You know what they call that? Teledildonics. Wow. Stop it. I swear to that's God. That's amazing. Yeah, but it applies to things that are not sexually related. Just a funny word. It's got dildonic. In I it. know, right? Wow. Yeah. Here's the thing. I used Haptic to be so technology. against that Haptic. stuff because I'm like, then it takes away from human connection and intimacy. But it's like, it's like we've been doing that for years anyway. So does Instagram. But, yeah. <laughs> I know. If you could have sex robots, then you could get, all, someone could do all your chores and shit and then fuck you. What if somebody put like STDs like into her. them like a virus though? Why'd you let him go? You're so pretty. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> don't you think? Don't you think hackers would like just do that just to, to piss everyone off, like introduce viruses and stuff into your sex? Oh bots? my gosh, yes! And then you yeah. literally do get an STI, but it's a yeah. it's a it's a virus. It's a computer virus yeah. that yeah. actually contracts. Yeah. yeah, and it makes it's it so you can't virus. record with your contacts and stuff. No, nope. and also they, they are, like mess yeah, up no. your house instead of cleaning it. They How are totally going to fuse <laughs> like a um, a bio biological virus with a yeah. technical virus. That's so gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, but it's the That's why you good. need to buy, yeah, <laughs> but, you know, you gotta, you gotta spend a little bit more money on, on like the, the simplified Apple version of the sex and, and house cleaning robot, mm. because people don't make as many viruses for those, because it doesn't have as high of an install base. You know what they say base. about an Apple a day? It gets you STI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll get a question. I feel like I, I feel like people are already that, bad. So it's like, yeah. if sex robots become this that bad. This is why we can't have nice things. It's why we literally can't have anything. <laughs> Jillian Houston has said, what's the most clever joke kid made, kids made about your name? I got Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> a lot. And oh, like, meet the fuckers because my heart, last name is Houston Fuckler. Love you guys, by the way. Houston last Fuckler? Last name's Fuckler? F it's my accent. Fuckler. Oh, Fuckler? Fuckler? Let oh. me see. Wait, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jillian. Houston Fuckler. I know you Gillian yeah. or Fuckler. Jillian? Fuckler. Yeah. Fuckler. That's what I said. Fuckler. Yeah. <laughs> Fuckler. <laughs> Fuckler. Never better, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, uh, well, Maud. No, I didn't know Maud was weird until um, later. Older. Never mind. Yeah. Um... Just my last name, Asrag, oh, yeah. which I legit like. You own that, though. Always yeah. loved. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great. I think it's clever. Asrag, Asrag, yeah. But I say it's Asrag, so it's like They used to call me Brenus. Brenus. That's that a hurt good my one. feelings. Oh, I like that. Uh-oh, no, ammunition. Yeah, no, yes. it didn't. It honestly didn't. <laughs> I actually, when I was in high school, I would like make little uh, garage band yeah. like mixes, and I was DJ Brenus. Yeah. Like, Ness, Bre but I was Brenus. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, I get it. Um, what of Jeremy? My, my name has way too many syllables. Uh, Grant calls you Jeremy. 
Yeah, a lot of people do that because they can't pronounce all of the syllables in my yeah. name. Like it's it's Jeremy, but but Jer they say Jeremy. Jeremy. But like Jimmy. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Jims. Yeah. Jeremy. And you don't like when people call you like J. Uh, I don't love it. I mean, I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. Jizz? You're just saying that. Huh? Do you get jizz? Only from, from people from like Australia or the UK or yeah. something. They say Jezza. Straight away, Jez. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy really? is Jez. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy is Jezza, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, across the pond, as they say. You know what would happen though? I'd end up calling you Tink. Why? Great question. Why Tink? Yeah, why? Jeremy? <laughs> Jez? Uh huh. Jezebel? Uh huh. Bell? Tinkabell? Tink. So that's, that's a lot of what, that's a yeah, lot of stuff. That's how it happens. That's I like, don't make the yeah. rules. You just flip them up and then that's you end up on the spot. You don't, don't get to make your own rap name. I don't think. Tink. Yeah. Just think about it. If what you did, you if you did me? have a rap name, what would it be? Uh, I've done it. Oh my god! I was a rapper on a song. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, I that was me going. Do I tell the story or not? Um, a mate of mine. <clears throat> he made a lot of music and he needed. He was playing me a song. And it was a rap song. <clears throat> about oh. a guy who was dissing on this chick. And uh -huh. I was like, the chick should do a comeback verse and, um, you know, tell the real situation. So I did it. So you actually rapped on a song, like a real song? Like, yep. Yeah. Um, like Australian hip hop. So I rapped in an Australian accent. Oh. How did, do you remember it at all? And I was... At least you didn't do like Iggy Azalea and like put on a fake no. like New no, York I accent. No, I sound Australian as pig. <laughs> um, and I was, um, my MC was, E M M G G E E M G. Mm. Yeah, but it sounds like. Do you remember it though? Like, well, I need to hear this. Yeah. I stumbled upon it the other day. <laughs> Sam listened yeah. to it, and then he um, bookmarked it on his. Oh, it's online. No. Oh, so if you want to see that video, yeah. just look down in the link. Below. No! <laughs> no! 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 Just look no. on MG. No! No! Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's so bad, and it's really crass, and I drop a few f bombs. Wow. Yeah, because I'm hardcore. Oh. Oh my well, god. Well, we knew that. We did know yeah. that. Yeah. What's your rap name, Bree? I wrote DJ Brenus. Oh, that's right. What's? Uh, I'm gonna go with um, Derp Nasty. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Yeah. Either Derp that or. Nasty. Uh, like a celebrity baby name, like um, like Moses Amadeus. Perfect. Yeah. Whose kid is that? I don't know. They all have crazy names, though. Celebrity baby names, Amadeus, like Amadeus, Romeo Amadeus. James, uh, Sergio yeah. America. Yeah. You know, all a lot of, of like Phoenix and that kind of Apple stuff. Apple Zombie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that. Apple. Is that a real one? Apple. Apple Zombie. <laughs> is it, didn't someone name their kid Zombie? Uh, I don't know. Oh, but that's that's awful. Apple Zombie. You don't sounds birth great. Apple Zombie. Zombie. Yeah. That would be Apple awful. Zombie is a pretty cool name. Mind you, they all look a bit zombie-like when you're born. But here's one. Uh, Kelly Kearns asks, what's the worst piece of advice you've ever received or given? Oh, I give bad advice all the time. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they, I, think, I think that when I'm joking, people realize I'm joking. But I think more often than not, especially in the bloopers, the bloopers lately, like, I'll snap at people just because it's funny. Andreas knows this better than most. So do you, Zach. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if the prompt is going a bit slow, it's like instead of just, I so many times I'm like, hey, can we just get like a little bit faster, a little bit slower? But now it's like, can we just, can we get the turtle happening? Can, <laughs> is, it, is this something that we can do? You know, I'm taller than you, right? Is this why you do this to me? I need the habit. No, you can. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Sorry, she's just being a dick. Just because it's just something different, but then I realized. <laughs> Don't think people know I'm joking anymore. It's gonna make a really great bloopers reel. Yeah, that's what's happening. Is I that accidentally, advice? I accidentally bullied it. Yeah, what's like, what's like, what's some bad advice? Like, have you told somebody to do something that ended up getting them like in jail or like fired or something like that? <laughs> you got one. No, I don't, but oh, like... I didn't even... You didn't... <laughs> shit. So, oh, oh! What did you do? <laughs> Bounced off the it's microphone. It's right here! Oh, no. Try it again. Right. Oh, no. Here times the charm, Here, wait, right? let me give you some don't bad advice. all the way yeah. down. Uh, oh, yeah, don't that's... fuck up. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 Didn't work. Well, Jeremy, uh, listen. I'm not the best at that, turns out. But, <laughs> you know, you gave it a go. Yeah. I think the worst advice anyone's ever given me is like, they're like, do this. Because anytime anyone tells me to do something, my instinct is to not do it. Yeah. My oh. rebellious instinct. Yeah. Um, The publicity team on my first TV job said, no, we like your name. You should keep it. 
Worst advice I've ever why? taken. Why? Yeah, why? You have a great name. I could have been anything else. That's true. Anything I else. I do regret that as well. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta have you gotta have an inter interesting name. Yeah. Oh, I could have been Emmy. And like be Maud Garrett or like Bree Estrig is at least short. My name is like Jeremy Acevedo. Yeah. You know, it's like so many syllables. Hold on. It's like multi-ethnic. It's like back complicated. Up. We were talking about ways to make fun of a name, and you just put an ass in Acevedo. Where yeah. was that? Acevedo, like. Ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, ass twins. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. You're like one half of a human centipede. Yeah. yeah. I feel good about How that. How many people does it take to make like a human centipede? Like Enough to four. cry. At least four? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could do it with three, but that's kind of half-assing it. Right? <laughs> Is that a <laughs> 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 I'm like, say, 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 say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's really go for it. I mean, if we're going to do it, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Yeah. yeah. Is it a drawing of straws, do you think, to find the order? <laughs> uh, there's only one way to find out. Oh. I, I really So that'll just... be our next oddity. Check the description. No, the stop to the... checking. I have to be the caboose. I have to be the last. I love to give and not receive. <laughs> <laughs> That's just enough. I, I don't know. I, don't I can't know. think of. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. That's a weird thing. That got me though. I can't think of any good or bad advice really. I think I think all of my advice is like generally mediocre. I play it, I play it really safe. With my advice, I uh, I go. You know, you could do this or you could do that. I mean, it's not for me to say. Because I, nobody will ever take your advice. That's no the thing. Uh -uh. If someone asks for advice, it's they've already made it up in their you mind. You repeat to them the two options, and then you say, "Well, I can't make the decision for you, so you know." Yeah. What do you think? And then they do the opposite usually. Yeah. A lot of Australians will talk other Australians out of moving to LA. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's good advice. Because mm. they don't want to compete. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's so hard. It's not easy to come. Is that over bad and advice or it. good advice, though? Which advice is that? Um, I mean, it's it's good advice if it if the person doesn't become successful, but yeah. it's also like when when you're over here and you're kind of not struggling in badly. Like, I mean, a lot of my friends that are actors are just like, oh, I finally got an audition, and I, and I, I got I came second, or like I was down to the last two, and it's like, oh, so you still can't pay rent. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that's hard. Um, and that happens a lot. So I think, you know, it's realistic for a lot of people, but at the same time, like, it was really disheartening to come over being like, I'm set up for failure. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to do in Australia, though, right? With film and television. Probably, and probably not like it no? is here. No yeah. Way. There's like so much one, more here. One gaming show about video games, one yeah. show about video games. One. Mm. My friend they don't it. have all these sweet, sweet web series like we have. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> We're doing it, everyone. Yay! <laughs> one more question, or shall we just call it a day? Let's do one more. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah. Shit chair. What's the... <laughs> <laughs> do we not like that one? It's very similar to the last one that oh, we just had. That's fine. Well. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what's tricky. Oh, let's end on a high, shall we? From Yellow Demon mm. 1. Mm -hmm. What's your saddest childhood story? <laughs> saddest? Yeah, what's your Ooh. saddest childhood story? One time, oh. I was in preschool. This says a lot about me now, I'm already realizing. I was at preschool, tutor time. And we were playing in the area with like the ball pit and the slides and all the fun stuff, which yeah, was indoors. And there was like a little closet where you could try on like police officer costume or whatever, like that playroom, right? I went up, up to the slide thing and I hid. And I hid there and I'm like, can't wait for them to come, like, get me and, like, be like, where's Bree? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody left the room, and I was still in there, and the lights go off. Oh, my And God. I'm just sitting in there, like, laying down, looking at the ceiling, like, any minute now, they're going to come in <laughs> and remember. Someone's going to come find me. Someone's going to remember I exist. <laughs> Never came. No. Never came. I was there for so long. That you died, that and I, now you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That I had to go out, that I had to go out and go back in. They didn't even notice me. How long were you gone for? Did it feel like four hours? But it, it was like about four hours. And it, sure was like it was like four minutes. Yeah, it had yeah. to be like. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like an eternity, and I just felt so invisible. And now it just says so much about who I am and the so type you, of attention I need to feel like a human. So you never got back in the closet again? No. The end. 
That is a terribly sad story. What's your sad childhood memory? Sad childhood memory. Uh, I have a lot. I was like a real nerd and a real glutton for punishment. So Aww. yeah, like so, I have so many. Should I don't I even know where to out? begin. Where do I start? What note? Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, maybe a little higher. Yeah. Oh, that's. Wait, <laughs> I started singing a soundtrack to a movie, <laughs> and I don't even know which one it was. Maybe. I've got a, I've got a good one where um there was a there was a thing that they would do because like I went to this like preschool thing and I like have some like some a few memories about it and I remember there was like these these like if you pissed your pants they would make you wear these funny pants they didn't have like normal pants to give you they had like funny pants and they were weird pants you know to shame you and yeah you. and it felt like and so like if you ever saw somebody with those with weird pants on you'd be like hey I pissed his pants and you all kind of like in preschool everyone, you like shame each other for that is that yeah, a thing I just I, that's how I remember it I don't know I was like really little I had a friend who thought she was a pegasus that's cool. That was pretty cool. I remember that. But uh, that's really cool. There was like like this one area would kind of flood when it rained, you know, uh, and I was walking too close to it and I fell in and all my all my clothes got wet. Right. So you didn't even piss yourself. No, and no, and like they made me put on the piss pants. No. I put on the piss pants hey, what about and I walked out there like some shirt? kind of asshole, head to toe piss clothes. And everyone's like, you yeah, just and everyone's like, everyone's yourself. like, this guy must have like, like shit himself and then rubbed <laughs> it on his body because he is head to toe in, in weird clothes. And uh, I was, boy, was I mortified. And my parents didn't believe me nothing. Oh, yeah. everyone thought you pissed yourself. I was in the piss clothes. There's that. I mean, you, you try, can't get back from you that. You try being four or five years old or whatever, and like, like b begin to imagine how you might explain the sequence of events yeah. that led to you be being. I tripped. Um, wearing pants that look like a popcorn bin, <laughs> like red and white stripes or something on it. What did Pegasus say? Uh, she said, ah, ah, ah. she didn't speak words, she was a Pegasus. Oh yeah, that makes yeah. sense. She's doing character. Did you ever ride on her back? Uh, uh, no, but I did, I did follow behind her and pretend I was, like, like she was Falcor or something. <laughs> you know, remember Falcor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love Dragon. Yeah. We're still friends to this day. I bring day. him up all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, the saddest picture that I have, it's so pixelated, so you pro could probably barely see it. Um, we were getting our preschool photos taken, and all the girls were lining up, and then the boys were in the back. And they looked at me and said, you're too tall to sit in the front. You have to stand in the back row. With the boys. And they I took the photo. That. And my photo is, because <laughs> I couldn't stop crying. Aww. Yeah. Do you want me to get that violin back out? Or yeah, should we? <laughs> just do like a little. <laughs> Does someone think they're too tall? Yeah. But the, yeah, try, the being, try being like 5'9". I'd love to try that. <laughs> oh my god, how would that be? Let's have a Freaky Friday. Oh my god, I just wanna... Can you just let me be a guy for a day? Oh, it's all I want. That's all I want. Just, 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 but what if it was like a terrible guy? No, it'd be the, it'd be the guy version of me. Uh, I wanna look in the mirror and be like, man, if, you know, the, the X turned to Y, what would I be like? I'm fascinated. That has to have been in this bowl like a thousand times before. Yeah. I'd be 6'3", yeah. for sure. Cop in a good one. Like, I think I'd be good. I think, and I'd... Yeah. Copping a good one. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, it's your penis. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then I'd be like, Woo! You always say that, copping a good yeah, one. Yeah, copping a good yeah. one. Yeah, thank you. And then I'd be copying some good ones. And my Aussies know what that means. And I'm sorry that I was dirty. So that concludes today's episode of Table Talk. Jeremy, take it away. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bingo. Bye-bye. I mean, you laugh at me a lot in the videos, cut to. Quickly after this broadcast, quickly and no, don't laugh, don't, you gotta hold it together. It's like it's got a nice mouth, but like when it's reading, it's stupid. I don't care, I'm passing him, I can't have him in my class another year.